Hey everybody, my name is Mallory Carr. I am a K-2 special education teacher at Morris Elementary in Bondurant. I have more of the behavior and academics um, strategies to um, caseload. I currently have nine students on my caseload. I'm about to get my 10th in a week or so, um, but with that also comes nine or 10 associates. Uh, so it's a interesting case to manage, but it's really been a great year. Um, I have a variety of needs, a couple, um, four or five students on the autism spectrum, um, a couple brain injury, um, some defiant, um, just a little bit of everything. Um, the student that I'm going to talk about or that I used for this visual schedule um, is a first grade student on the spectrum and he is um, displays a lot of verbal um, non-compliance behaviors um, needs a lot of motivation we have a pretty um, strict token economy that gets him through his day um, he doesn't need too much of a visual schedule as far as first then um, we've gotten to the point that he just knows what he does in his day. He goes to my room, he goes to the gen ed room, he comes back, he goes to specials. Um, and I think that has helped just the routine and doing it all over and over. Um, he really doesn't need those visuals um, that some students need. But probably around Christmas time, we were really struggling with a motivator. He um, would work for Goldfish um, when he finish his token system, but um, kind of a long-term motivator we didn't have. Um, his mom actually works in our district, so we did some collaborating and um, somehow we figured out it was apple juice. He, If he had a good day, he got apple juice. Um, I struggled then with him getting the apple juice, even if he didn't have a good day. How did we know he had a good day? Um, so I I'd used this with a student in the past as far as kind of going through his day, um, but this is his um, visual schedule. So each transition throughout the day, um, also with his verbal disruptions and his um, behaviors, it was a lot of squealing and loud noises, just kind of excitement thing, but it often came when he was going from one task to the other. So, um, and he would start asking, I want apple juice, I want apple juice. So for him to visually see um, when he got apple juice, he has to earn them. So each time he has a transition or he transitions from my room um, to the gen ed room with a calm body and a calm voice, um, it he earns a color onto his apple juice. So in a way, this is kind of a behavior schedule, um, but it's also a visual because he knows He's getting here and his day's almost over. He's a student that's also only here for a half day. He um, goes to another services outside of um, school. So um, this is what I chose to describe or show. Um, as you can see, it's very small, short, um, quick and easy, um, portable. This is what will go out with him to recess so he can transition in and he knows that it's you know, almost finished with his day. He's got one more, I want apple juice. Yep, you gotta work for apple juice. Um, the queuing a lot of times when um, his transitions are hard, even just showing him this is something that he will say, I want apple juice. Okay, what do you need to do so that you can have apple juice? Um, and that is just a reminder for him that all is all he needs. Um, Sometimes the word apple juice, but a lot of times we will just visually show him this when it's time to do those transitions and um, get to the next activity. Um, he responded so well to this. Um, he caught on quickly. He um, really didn't need a whole lot of instruction. He just knew that um, this was something. Um, the idea I got from this from was another student constantly asked to go home. I want mom. I want mom. So we had a picture of, um, it actually wasn't a picture. It was just a piece of paper cut into strips. Um, and at the end was a picture of mom. And so every 
maybe 20 minutes nearing the end of the day because he knew the end of the day was coming. That was his visual that he got to put another um, thing on to see mom. And that was something that was very motivating. He didn't ask. He didn't keep questioning then because he knew he could see that it was almost time to go see mom. So that's where this came from originally, but it has been um, a lifesaver. I put in, if you look on his data sheet, his behaviors totally decreased after getting this because he knew if he didn't fill this up, he wasn't getting apple juice as well. So um, this is the visual schedule that I chose. I um, hope that you guys can find it something useful and a little different than maybe some of the other visual schedules that um, all of us use, I know. So um, yeah, thanks.